in this video in details as usual we do on this channel we're going to replace the lift pump aka primer pump on caterpillar we're working on 320 caterpillar uh, equipped with a c6.4 assert diesel yeah very reliable tough diesel engine and we ended up with a faulty priming pump in the first video we diagnosed the long crank hard start issue yeah this is our problem we are getting air in the fuel system yeah Let's get started. Comfort is first. All right, here's our priming pump. Very easy access, and we're cheap today. We're using the CTP parts on a caterpillar. Yes, I know it's not OEM, but it works. Whatever we got, we are going to install. As you can see, this pump will be mounted the same way, and it's slightly shorter. It doesn't really matter. Here's a part number, CTP. Yeah, I will put a part number down in the description below under the video. Check it out. Came with the gasket. Okay, first, before taking a faulty priming pump, let's just uh, clean the area around the pump. I'm just using the brake clean. Make sure we won't get any dirt inside the fuel system. And a clean paper towel to wipe all that grease, debris, or build up. We have a 10 mil and we have a 12 mil. As you can see, two different sizes bolts, just because you cannot put it wrong. Okay, spill pad, towel. Make sure we won't spill any diesel down below. Yeah, just 10 mil. As I said, let's break one bolt loose. I'm using 3 eighths ratchet with extension. It's pretty tight. Guys, if you first time to the channel, I appreciate it. If you're going and subscribe, 12 mil. It doesn't take long, it doesn't cost you anything, but it really helps the channel. Thank you so much for doing that. Okay, 12 mil, another bolt. I'm just breaking that loose. And let's just take the bolt out. One, as you can see. And two, yes. And uh, I would say it's a very common problem. Those pumps known to fail over time, and this is original one all right as you can see that gasket on the bottom and the pump is removed let's just wipe all that debris there's a part number mm -hmm. and this machine has 15,000 hours on a clock well it's getting old all right here is our replacement part that's what we have ctp it's sort of like a gray market caterpillar parts. They're the same, but they way cheaper. Okay, here's the gasket. It looks identical. There we go. See, it will work. And the pump. Yeah. Same as the caterpillar. Yeah, and they work. And uh, if you use it machine just for a short period of time, and you, you know, it's probably the way to go if you're in full production as I would say go with the caterpillar OEM parts yeah all right let's start our installation let's wipe all that whatever debris is left from the gasket and so on just make sure the mating surfaces are spotless we don't want any leaks just wiping all that residue with a clean paper towel is the new gasket is coming on as you can see the bigger hole and smaller hole okay 10 mil is on the left 12 mil is on the right guys if this video is helpful educational interesting to watch put a thumbs up appreciate that okay now uh, pump time same way as we remove the old one and as you can see 10 mil to the left 12 to the right and yeah align the holes here we go the bolts let's just put one bolt start it will 
by hand, make sure it won't get cross threaded and go a few threads like that. Beautiful. Okay, bolt number two. I have a 12 mil, same way, starting by hand. Yeah, guys, if you have any comments, questions, critics, suggestions, recommendations, say everything down in the comment section below under the video. Yeah, it will be interesting to learn. Okay, I snag the bolts and I'm gonna want to torque it, see where I'm holding the ratchet. Then you need to go too crazy and bolt number two. Yeah. Snag and tight. Good enough. Want leak? Yes. Tight in? Yeah, two bolts. And as you saw, I went one, two, one, two. Okay, three quarters wrench. I'm using ratchet and wrench. I just crack the bungee bolt on out from the pump. You see, out and in to get whatever air inside the priming pump and give it a couple pumps. Press the plunger, you see, fuel came right out, you see some bubbles, squirt it out, and as so, soon as we have the solid stream of fuel, no air, just tighten the bolt and tighten it up the plunger head. Here we go, and then just, let's just tie the bolt, make sure we won't have any fuel leaks, and no fuel leaks and no air leaks as well. Alright, there's a the copper washer, and uh, tight, good enough. Beautiful. There's the two filters. Everything will get filtrated, and now we can get a few pumps. Yeah, very common problem, as I mentioned before, failing fuel pumps when lifting priming fuel pumps on a low pressure side. Okay, pump is closed, cap is sealed. Oh. Well, <laughs> Everything is so easy when you know how to do it, nothing's complicated. Let's wipe whatever diesel spilled out, make sure everything's clean, keep it nice and tidy, do the clean job. Okay, as you can see the pump is installed, yeah, we cleaned all the tools, and now whatever air might be left in the system will get pushed through, and we'll be good to go. Okay, before starting the engine, always check your engine oil. I don't know this engine, but before cranking, I always take a second to check the engine oil, make sure we're safe. Who knows if it has or not, or how much oil. Okay, verified, we have oil, and now we're going to crank the engine, and whatever air is in the system will get pushed out, and we'll fire it up. Okay, let's give it. Fired up, it's running. We're checking for leaks. No leaks at the budget bolt, no leaks at the bottom of the priming pump. Nice and new, shiny, short lifting pump. This one still works, but it has a leak. Yeah, I'll keep it as a spare in my parts bin. Now, this pump used on many, many different Caterpillar diesels very similar design they use across the board yeah thank you so much guys for your time watching this video appreciated that i will put another video for you if you have a long crank hard start to watch over there check it out and we're working on this big caterpillar take care